so this is the replay I was sent by Dean. I'll call him. I'll call him Dean. Uh, we're playing against Ghost Rider 15, who is doing very well on the dueling book ladder, Ghost Rider 15, where they have played like, I don't know, 1300 games or something, and we have close to 70% win rate, so we're definitely a strong player. I believe they mostly, if not only, play Chaos Turbo. Uh, I would love to get a replay sent from Ghost Rider actually. So Ghost Rider, if you're watching, uh, please hit me up with a replay. So we're on the play, and our hand is amazing. We're going to go duo Pot of Greed. We choose to send the break. We use the Thunder Dragon and then we set either the Knight Ascellant or the Sangen. I'm leaning towards the Sangen, but you could also go for the Knight Ascellant. And I think we should set the Regek Break, yep. So... Ghost Rider does have a good start of their own though. So here we can definitely see the advantage to setting the Knight Assailant. It's so good against an opposing flip. So how should we use this Regeki Break? I think we just don't use it. Okay, this I think is a mistake. So, we flip the Knight Assailant, and I would actually kind of want to just try to be some of the Thunder Dragon and start applying pressure, but I think that's a bit too timid. I think we should probably summon the Breaker after flipping the Knight Assailant. You could also summon the breaker first to put your own torrential. Not that it's a big deal, but that might be slightly better. Goes for the knight assailant. Summons the breaker. So yeah, here I think it's just strictly better to summon the breaker before flipping the knight assailant. Okay, but that's just fine. For 200. This has to set the book. I like that. Here I think the book makes more sense as we're playing around Ring of Destruction by using it end phase. But this does mean that we would be vulnerable to Regek Break or Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, but Ghost Rider doesn't have any cards in hand, so that's not an actual issue. So I think this makes a lot of sense. And here we flip the Knight Assailant, and then we flip the Breaker, and we attack, and we set the Spy. You could also set the Sangen. Alright, so against this. I mean, we still have to run it over. So. I think we just flip the breaker, run it over, set the spy. Decides to summon the Sangen rather than setting the spy. I don't really understand that because. Like, we're not scared of this set monster being too clooped or something. It's not that important to run it over. And the spy is very useful to have developed. I could miss something, definitely, but I would have gone for the spy. So we're far ahead here. Discard Snatch, so likely Chaos Sorcerer or Bila is going to be dropped there? No. I mean, sure. So here I think we just attack with the Breaker and the Sangen, but we lead with the Breaker. Uh, setting first, I guess, is slightly better against Morphing Jar, but it's so much worse against Cyber Jar, so I mean, you could argue it's just marginally worse. Because at that point we're probably clogged on normal zones. 
But at that point, I want to have a normal summon after the Savager, so... You could go either way here, but... I, mean, I wouldn't read too much into it. So... Now we would want to set the decoy tree because we want the drawing to an out to be spies. Our spy adding more pressure to the board isn't really that relevant. What's relevant is us drawing something to deal with these spies to apply pressure. And the Koichi will let us dig for that. I don't get this hand shuffling thing that Dean does. Bit annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so Dean decided to banish spice from their deck yeah <laughs> rather than <laughs> the Koichi <laughs> alright so yeah run over the set set break set spy simple Decides not to run over the set and would rather use the Rageki break than I assume. I'm not really into that because I want to use this Rageki break to destroy a spy and then snatch the other spy and at that point we're in such a strong position. But this isn't awful or anything, it's just not what I would have gone for. It's going to work out this time around. For sure. Because that was a faith. So we drew our third spy. Unfortunate. I think we just flip our spy here to avoid drawing the the last one. Decides against it. I think that's unnecessary. Alright, so that's a nice one. Now we summon the Chaos Sorcerer and we start picking off these spies. It's a bit nice that we don't have to run, play around Snatch Steel as it was discarded to the Graceful earlier. Yeah, we, we, I mean, we could go for a Snatch here and just try to go for game. I think I would. I mean, if there's a book, that's unfortunate, but I don't think there's... Like, uh, going for game is pretty good, right? So yeah, I would snatch. Decide to play it slow. Yeah, the snatch would have won the game. I mean, we're so likely to win this game either way, but... From here, we could lose, definitely. So, now we snatch. Yeah. Judgment. And here we set the book and pass. Yeah, we run it over, of course. I agree. Yeah, I think we'll on to the dust shoot. We have enough cards that want to discard fodder to do so. So how do we out this Bilas? Yeah, this game is slipping. I think we we could have played this better. And I think it's really starting to show. I don't like setting this by particularly. I don't know that it's bad necessarily though. Wow, why did we nobleman there? That might have been a bit too aggressive from Ghost Rider. And they just have the read that our set is not going to be a mirror force. Which I don't necessarily agree with. But hey, it did work out for them. 
Maybe Ghost Rider noticed something I didn't. I'm trying to. I'm not here to cr critique Ghost Rider's play. I'm here to review the play from Dean. So discard card destruction makes sense, and I would assume that we're gonna get rid of the trap dust suit. But the dust suit might be live quite soon. So I think we nobleman the BLS and run over the set. And I think we run over the set with the breaker. Yeah, I mean this just feels wrong. Why don't we switch the spy and switch the breaker? They add a book? No. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So graceful comes down. Yeah, this is so bad. Yeah, we really let this one slip. So now we're losing. Didn't set the mirror force in order to have a regeki break available, I guess. So in that case, we flip the regeki break immediately in standby. We're going to get uh, destroyed by this magician of faith, but at this point, it's too late. So if we're not setting the mirror force, I mean, sure, okay, but we should probably flip it there, right? <coughs> Feels bad, man. So now we're gonna take 1200. And I would assume there are no top decks that can get us out of this, seeing as there's no pot of greed. So Summon Kaiko tried to swing, and it's not going to work. And I would assume we're dead here. Nope. Still alive. Not that it matters much, we're not going to get there. Yeah, yeah, I think that was... Again, where we just... I mean, I could be misjudging this. Maybe our plays actually were correct, but I think... We could have made slight improvements on quite a few of those turns. And I think that added up could definitely have been a decisive factor. I think we just could have played slightly better and probably have won that game. So here, I would probably just set the Knight Assailant. Maybe not, maybe I would set the Spy. Because the Knight Assailant does pair quite well with the Regek Rig. I just don't really want my Spy to get Nobleman, but I guess that's not a big deal. Especially against an opposing deck playing spy. What's with all these hand shuffles? I don't get it. Yep, that's fine. So now we have the read that Ghost Rider could definitely have a red right gecko break in their hand, seeing as we only banished two from their deck. And this is also the advantage to setting the spy into the nobleman. If Ghost Rider does have a third spy in their deck, it is in their hand. So I think one of us could definitely be a Regeki Break. Here, I think we just set the Dekoichi. Didn't shuffle their hand. Decides to set the Knight Assailant. Sure. I would have set the Dekoichi, but it doesn't matter that much, I guess. So, as it turns out, Ghost Rider didn't have a set, which we probably could have deduced since we didn't set something last turn. And thus, we probably should have gone for the Dekoichi, yeah. So, now we set the Dekoichi, man. Oh, but we're going to play around the set being something useful, I guess, such as the Koichi. And here you can see that they did have the third Regeki Break and the third Spy. So those are some easy reads you can make. Goes for the Kaiku. 
I do not understand this. I would definitely have gone for the decoichi there. Sets the nobleman. Now we're just making Breaker live. Feels bad. Now they have Chaos. If it's... Yeah. Okay. So set the coach just set does shoot. So what did we see? Snatch, Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon, Chaos Loser. That's a hand. Hitting the BLS there is quite huge. I mean, we're in good shape once again here. We're just going to... Actually, I think we could book Nobleman here. I don't think that's a bad play. We could also just set Faith, set the book behind it, and as the case or attacks, then book have a nobleman on the following turn. But that does leave us somewhat weak to Breaker and such. I think it's a marginal, but I would just go for it immediately. Besides, to delay it. Whoa! I mean, I would flip these in order not to have to summon the BLS. We even know that they have Snatch. I guess we use the book then. And we save the new one. I don't agree with this, but... Once again, I, I guess it's fine. I don't think uh, Dean makes... Like, outright awful plays. It's just, I think we could make slight improvements here and there. Maybe I'm misjudging though, that could be the case. Right, so now we set the faith and we go for the book. Okay. Yeah, I think we could have done that earlier. If they go for mind control here, we're so screwed. Right, we got there. So flip, and I guess we use the nobleman. Yep. Hit for 300 and attack. Attack and hit for 300. So that's a serpent. Don't think I like that. It only exposes it. Ghost Rider has made it clear that we're not going to go out of their way to clear any future sets. We knew we had the snatch, but we didn't know we had a book. So this is just unfortunate. And that's so bad. Now we don't even have the serpent anymore. I think we're just being slowly outplayed by Ghost Rider. We're just playing slightly better every turn. So here we have a storm and snatch and prey, I guess, because the Ghost Rider's hand is just Thunder Dragon, I believe. Should be. Yeah. But yeah, it's quite optimistic to think the Thunder Dragon is gonna get us there. But it's our only play. Okay, so now we just draw. We don't have BLS left, right? Because we used it. Uh, Dust Tornado is a card I just don't like in these Chaos Turbo decks. And I really don't like it against opposing Chaos Turbo. I f don't think that should be in our deck after siding. Sets the Nobleman. I don't really understand what we're playing around. I guess we're faking Mirror Force or Torrential. I think that's fair. Yeah. I can agree with that. Seeing as Breaker would be lethal. 
and that's basically the game. It's going to be <laughs> really rough now. Yeah, and there we go. So I think we lost that one. I think it was fair. I don't think we played perfectly. I don't think we played particularly badly either. It's just we could have made a slightly better place quite a few times. Ghost Rider is a strong opponent with a good deck who plays well. So a natural outcome. We also drew quite well. So did Ghost Rider, don't get me wrong. But I don't think we have anyone to blame but ourselves here. Okay, thank you for the game, Dean, uh, and I'll catch you guys next time.